9. Our first lesson on periods. One girl turned white and fainted. She was taken to the school nurse. Booklooks were issued to learn more at home. I read mine in full naivety and horror. Page 11 told me about masturbation, something I'd never heard of, but it sounded funny. I can't actually remember the first time I did it, but I know I orgasmed. 11. I had now been regularly masturbating for nearly two years. Rabbit was my favourite toy at this time. I felt guilty if I masturbated in the same room as him. I felt like he knew. I had hidden the booklet behind the books in my bookshelf to help keep my habit a secret. 13. I got my period. I was embarrassed and scared. I got cramps and used a hot water bottle like the booklet said I should. 15. I was now at Catholic school. The first time I had heard masturbation discussed formally, I learned it was actually really bad. But I continued. Until now, every time I masturbated, I told myself I'd never do it again. Then I discovered blogging. Feminism became part of my daily vocabulary, and journaling became my answer to everything. 17. Now a seasoned feminist, the guilt was falling away. I began to question stigmas, and I stopped shaving my legs. 19. I left for art school. People were progressive and inspiring and masturbation was discussed like art. Twenty-one. I studied gender politics. Masturbation became an act of female rebellion. And at some point I realised that it's okay to masturbate.